I had a meeting with uh, APRA, which um, Dean Ormston and Jenny Morris were at, and I was asking them about this, and, and they said, oh, support acts where you need to go. Uh, so when we, were, when we were doing the announcement part with support act, uh, we, you know, we promised, you know, I'll do the, the money bit, but it's not the story bit's what matters, but the money bit helps enable it. So we've committed 200,000 to lift the mental health uh, provision of that helpline. Uh, but then also we want to be able to take Support Act to the next level. So over five years, there's $5 million in total. Um, and that'll principally go to mental health if we win. But the thing that has just always stunned me is how this has been a gap in Australia. And Stuart's book tells uh, the story really well. Uh, but. For the rest of us, people who live outside the industry but love the industry, when we go through a really dark time, we turn to music. And music actually provides the healing for the rest of us. Uh, and yet for so many people in the industry, what they're giving is exactly what they're not getting. And so we want to make sure that our music's always a soundtrack to life in Australia. Uh, that means we need our venues, it means we need our festivals, it means we need our music being played on our radios, we need our artists and everyone in the industry having a real, a real uh, career, having a real income, having a decent workplace. All of that needs to come together. And ultimately, out of that, you get a nation where people grow up hearing their stories, hearing their accents, hearing their music, and that then is something they turn back to their whole life. Uh, that's at risk. We want to protect it. We can't protect it properly unless we're helping the organisation that protects you. That's why we're backing Support Act. Well,